everyone. Happy 2023. Happy June 2023. So um, this is just an intro to the monthlies. Just to let you know that I'm back to work again. Although I never really stopped working. But I'm back to work on YouTube. And if you wanted to book a reading, all my information is in the um, description box below the video. Where there is a link to the website. And um, just to remind you, the name of the channel will be changing soon. So I'll be putting the old name in brackets. And um, But I don't know if I'm doing it yet, but it'll happen at some point. And then what else do I need to say? Uh, if you do want to book, please look at the website and read the booking instructions just to make everything easier so don't, we don't have to go back and forth with emails. Because uh, I don't like to be in my ego having to think about things. I like to be let go. <laughs> um, that's it. All right. Uh, have a lovely month. I hope the monthlies help you out. Lots of love. Bye. Sagittarius, June 2023. So... Uh, Sagittarius. All right, they just showed me the full. Um, you've got a full moon coming up in your sign right at the beginning of the month. I think it's on the 4th. Um, it's either directly in your sign or it's just moving into your sign or just leaving it. Uh, sometimes it's a bit crossover, you know. But it's very prominent, the full moon, for you this month. They've got this full. They're still showing me it. But he's upside down. It looks like the sign for the Isle of Man, you know, with the three legs. The Isle of Man, the place, has got a, the symbol for the Isle of Man is three legs in a circle. And it's got three legs, so it's running around in a circle, basically. And um, busy month for you. New things kicking off in a very busy month. And um, they're saying you must take time to stand still. And uh, not ray, not rush, because there will be. It's going to be a lot going on. So don't get overwhelmed. Try not to, you know, try to take breaks, stand still, breathe, so that you don't get overwhelmed. So that it helps you not get overwhelmed. Um, do what you need to do to help alleviate stress and overwhelm. Um, is what they're saying and they show me a wolf and the wolf is symbolic of aggression in this case and they are saying it's an aggressive month for you uh, I don't know if that's you being aggressive necessarily or if it just is like a full on month you know like gung ho which is a term they love to use for like you know up and at them kind of a thing <laughs> so it feels like racing ahead, they just said. Racing ahead. Right, let's get some cards out. Okay, and then they're showing me... Um, man stood there digging a ditch. Looking away from the spot that he's digging. He's got a shovel in his hand. Oh, this is the... Um, Right, because that's the Eight of Pentacles imagery, where he stood digging, and it's work-related. I think in some decks it looks like that. Um, and the wind's in his hair, his hair's blowing, and looking away. So, Oh, so if you could look away from your work, they're saying, you know, take time to smell the roses, get away from work. They really don't want you to be overwhelmed this month because it feels like there's a lot moving in for you. And um, just to take it at your own pace. Queen of Pentacles. That's a physical manifestation of the feminine. That's a person. Three of Swords, pain. It's pain of the mind, pain of the emotions. Could also be physical pain. Especially as she's showing up as physical. Nine of Swords are ending in the mind. So it's ending a torment and restriction, they just said. Debilitation in the mind. It's something you've got to go through. It's not going to feel good. It just said short, sharp shock. Uh, 
Five of Cups. That's something that exists that you can't see emotionally. So that could be an emotional connection with someone. It could be something that you've put aside, feelings for something that you've put aside. Could be something that you need to receive clarity on, they're saying. So something where you feel like you've had to let something go because it's not going to be something that you can have in your life. People, person, place. People, person, place, thing. <laughs> uh, any of those things. Something that you feel is lost. Maybe that's the pain and the torment of the physical person. This is standing behind now, so it's something that you've lost. Not, not You're not going to lose it, you've lost it already. You feel like you've lost it already. No sign of it. Oh, right in the centre, the full brand new journey. They just said something racing ahead. Um, let's have a look here. The sun, good. So, that's fruition they're saying as well. So it's a fruition of something that's good. It's a good thing coming along that's going to get you busy. And, um, hmm, uh, something that you've lost. Let's just have a look at these. Two of pentacles, something coming into the physical, perhaps another person here ready to arrive. Feels like something that's dropping down into your reality, physical reality, from something that you've been tormented by. You're going to get a brand new journey around something you've been tormented by dropping into your physical reality, coming out of the blue. Good thing. Again, we've got a rainbow in this one. We've got the sun there. There's been pain regarding it. Something you left behind there. Something you let go of. Six of Swords. Pain and letting go. Ah, that's the work they're talking about. So they're saying it's been a lot of work the pain and the letting go. They've got you where your head is turned away from it and your hair is blowing away in the wind, like the wind's in your face. It's like um, a rush of wind, like a rush of something coming in, right? So you've turned away from something, like here. A painful experience and you let go of it. It's coming back in. It's coming back in with a rush. The rush of wind, that's the legs running around. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing. They say you need to keep let go, stay let go. Don't let everything rush back in, basically. So what you left behind, but people, person, place, thing. <laughs> Whatever pain it caused that you let go of, right, that was a torment to you. You know, maybe that's hard work, because they said hard work, right? But it's coming back in. It's coming back in, it's a good thing. So don't rush back to where you were and go back into the pain of what it was before. Carry on being let go of what happened before and let it emerge into the now. Wisdom, hermit wisdom. Let it emerge as brand new. Let it be new. Let it be fruitious, right? So everything is vibrational before it's physical. Everything before it's physical, right, so we do this again, right, we do this all the time, vibrational, and then it's the mind, so it's the thinking of it, and it's the emotions, right, and then it's the physical. So all these things are connected. So you've got to understand, therefore, that you, you partly create your physical reality. You don't wholly create your physical reality. It's not all down to you. It's down to it's your vibrational self. Your vibrational self always wants you to focus on the most positive result. Focus it on, on that being how it is now. Right, so you're never offering up a, a feeling or a thought of pain. Because if you offer up a feeling or a thought of pain, so say this thing you left behind, you're like, oh well, if it comes back in, I'm going to feel awful again because it was like this before. So you're using your mind to say because it was like this before and you're offering up the emotion of it's going to feel awful. So what you're offering up, therefore, is what you're going to receive because you co-create through your emotions and your mind with your vibrational self. Your vibrational self will say, it can be good. 
Everything can be good if you allow it to be good. So offer up the feeling of, it is great to have this. This will be lovely. This will feel amazing. This is beautiful. And offer up the thought, the same thing. This is amazing. It's wonderful. It's love. It's great. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> you know, and let it go, and let go of anything that isn't any of that, right, and just offer up what you want back in return, which is everything good, everything great, everything beautiful, everything love, everything feeling good, no worries, no cares, no stress, nothing ever going, don't use, ever use that word, W-R-O-N-G, just, <laughs> you don't want to ever up, offer up that word, right, so you only ever up the beautiful words, the amazing words, the lovely words, the, you know, you only ever offer up the potential, the opportunity to bring yourself what is great and what is good and what is what is essentially healed, right? And that's how you get what, what is back that is just bountiful and fruitious. That's the wisdom of it, right? So that's connected to you and your... When you've got this rushing in the fall, don't let your mind rush. Remember, twin flame connected energetically if, listen to the one i just did on scorpio <laughs> because that talks about the mind racing and you need to understand the mind racing the negativity the negative script that is the ego is a mind racing with worries right and that's what as you delete through the process as the physical manifestation occurs at the end of the process you have to stay in the let go of all of that don't start inviting it back in with, well, what if they do that? And what if this happens? And what if they say that? And what, well, you know, they were like this before. Because that's what you're going to get back then. Partially, you will get that. But you're offering more of an opportunity for, to get that back than less of an opportunity to get it back. You don't know how strong your vibrational self wants it. They may be over, it, a vibrational self may be uh, gung-ho at being able to override negativity if it's only a slow a slow drip of negativity so uh, as opposed to like a huge you know rush of negativity and a complete overwhelm of negativity um you've got to balance you know you've got to feed into your vibrational self what vibrational self needs to bring you what you want which is positivity and good luck you know think of yourself you just bring it down to earth, maybe. Think of yourself as a lucky person. Just simply, oh, only good things ever happen to me. Forget about the other things, whatever they are, just let them go. Don't remind yourself. I'm, everything good happens to me. It always works out for me. I mean, that's what they always say, uh, law of attraction. <laughs> Eight of pentacles, it's different in this card. A lot of the cards, you stand in there with a shovel, working, and physical connection physical connection bringing something to yourself physically right a law of attraction states you know esther hicks will always say they say um everything always works out for me it does if you allow it to if you say that and repeat that and use it as a mantra that's going to help a lot and it's work right that's a work word so everything always works out for me everything's always great for me everything always turns out for the best everything and just there's no need to open the lid on things from the past and look, get him out like Eeyore, <laughs> getting his balloons, his deflated balloons out of his pots and looking at them again with the sadness and the grief, right? <laughs> okay, that's Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, if anybody doesn't know about it. Someone used to call me Eeyore because I was so sad all the time. <laughs> okay. Um, that's it. Lots of love and see you next month. Take care. Bye.